Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. Uh, it's been a rough 2022 for travel. COVID, employee protests, punishing storms, all ravaging the travel industry this past year. The latest meltdown, um, or deep freeze if you want to call that, coming from Southwest Airlines, who yesterday canceled more than 2,500 flights. This is Monday alone, bringing their two-day total to roughly 5,500. Check that Tuesday. I've lost a day. Uh, joining me now for more, the president of VIP Vacations, Jennifer Donchez. Uh, Jennifer, great to have you on this morning. Um, so it's Look, it's been a really bad week for, for the airline industry, but Southwest Airlines accounting for roughly 80%, 87%, check that, of all the cancellations we've had over the last five days. Uh, what is going on with Southwest Airlines? Well, besides the weather, right, because that had everybody, all of the airlines causing delays and cancellations, there's a couple of things with Southwest. First, they have a point-to-point -point system where the other carriers have a hub and spoke system. So if you're flying on American, their hub would be Dallas or Philadelphia or Miami. United would be Newark or Houston. Uh, Atlanta would be for Delta, Salt Lake City for Delta. But that's that means that those airlines fly in and out of those cities. That's the hub, and they fly to the little spokes of other cities. Okay. So there's a constant rotation, right? So if you're a flight attendant, you're probably based in one of the hub cities, and you catch a spoke flight, and then you come back. With Southwest, they're on a point-to-point -point system. So what happened with the weather is, first off, the flight attendants, the pilots, they didn't know where they were going because it was a point-to-point, -point, not a hub back. Then you have all of the flight weather delays with the cancellations. Their phone systems, which are very antiquated, were over one. So you even had pilots not knowing which flight they needed to get on. The next thing is they are not part of the airline's interline agreement. That means if you're flying on United and their flights are canceled for whatever reason, but there's an American flight, there's an interline agreement, and United and American will share, or Delta, they'll share, and they can put you on another flight. But that's not the way it works with Southwest. So you have a point-to-point -point where pilots don't know where they're going, flight attendants don't know where they're going, their phone systems were overrun. It could take three to four hours yesterday and their online systems were showing no flights available because they thought the best thing to do would be not to take any new reservations until the 2nd of January for this week. So wow, people were, wow. up, yeah, yeah. No new flights could be booked to travel this week. Oh, up until okay. So let me just, let me just jump in. So the CEO of Southwest, uh, I mean, this is destroying their credibility and, and I'll just tell you as somebody who's flown Southwest, um, it, it's not my favorite experience. I don't like the choosing a seat thing. Just just give me a seat assignment. I don't, I don't need that competition when I get on an airplane. Um, but the CEO says, Bob Jordan, he says this is going to continue all week long. Uh, do you expect major changes at Southwest? You pointed out the antiquated phone system. Um, th this can't happen again. Also, I don't think customers are aware of what you just described, this, this so-called spoke system. I, I don't think people are aware that if, if we happen to get a snowstorm, you're going to be stuck in an airport for five days. Right, because there's not another rotation and another flight coming in. Right. And then pilots can't get on the next flight. Like, if you're in a hub system, there's pilots all around. They can sub out pilots. Flight attendants can pick up an, a new flight to get home or to go someplace else, but not when it's a point-to-point -point system. But I really do think the biggest thing is that they don't have any interline agreements. I've been in Chicago flying on United. My United flight was canceled, and right. they booked me right over to American. I do think the Department of Transportation is looking into this. I do think they're going to change a... A bunch of things, including their phone systems. I think they might start to have some other agreements with other airlines because that would have helped it as well. Yeah. And they're they're not taking new reservations for travel until the 2nd of January because they want to try to fill as many of the existing seats that are still open with people who need to get back. Now, the horrible thing, the sad, sad thing this week was if you checked into a flight and they took your bags, because remember Southwest bags are free, they took your bag, but then your flight was canceled. If you said, you know what, I'm gonna just drive because my flight's canceled on the 24th, I still need to get to grandma's. Good luck they getting your bag. Getting yeah, good luck getting your bag. Back. That's You're terrible. Not getting your Jennifer, bag we, back. we have to leave it there. Um, it, that is just, I mean, it's, it's, and this is a Southwest problem. To your point, other flights were canceled. 87% of all canceled flights have been Southwest Airlines. This is a Southwest problem. They got to do something. Um, yeah. Jennifer uh, Donches, thanks so much for being with us this morning and breaking that down. Great, great breakdown, by the way. Um, that's, that's the most clear breakdown I've heard yet of what's happened uh, with the airlines. Thank you. All right, we've got a lot.